Sybilis. Sybilis. Y'all ready? The name is P. I used to get the three. And here it is, brother, the G A Z. Again. Hey, cowboy! You think you a winner? You think you cooler? Hey, you just like all these people in Bell City. You a loser. <laughs> Write that on all your Facebook. Put it on all your blog. I am the new thing. I am Pete Dog. Taking on Beat Off, Mike Posey, your referee for your opening contest of Red, White, and Bruce 2016, GCW Senior Official, Bernie Kowalowicz. Well, sounds, let's do this thing. From the Pill City Civic Center in Pill City, Alabama, welcome to Global Championship Wrestling's Red, White, and Bruce 2016. Fat Steady Lane alongside of the Oracle of Ominous, the Wicked Nemesis. What's up, Wick? I broke the anvil. I broke the head. You broke the bell hammer tonight. Oh my God, that's how you start a show. Here we are, back again for the second time around. Once in a lifetime, uh, that's two out of three. Oh yes, that's about what it is. To, to, to steal one from John Cena, believe it or not. I'm upset that Jack Gunn uh, doesn't have his hat. Live the gimmick, kid, live the gimmick. Of course. Oh. Going for the power game a little bit early, hard right, sand left by the Cowboy Jack Gunn. Beat off Mike Posey. Feeling the brunt right now. And Gun trying to make an early statement. Close fist as well. Punch, punch, punch. It's like a Hank Williams the third punch. Well, you know, fine. Kick back. Kick. Just kidding. Side headlock in play from the Cowboy Jack Gun on people like those. Ooh. Did not see that too often. Nice innovative form of escape. Hard of the Hard of the canvas. And another. Boom. Another one. Do we have a trifecta? Yes, we do. Six, one, seven in the eighth race. Don't ask me what track. I have no idea. It's like a vine gone bad. Jack Gunn. Oh. oh. Hello. Telegraph that. Run all you want to. Oh, hello. hello. Tonto K. Pronto. That's how you display turtle power. Up oh, and there goes Stephen Amell. <laughs> oh. Eight oh. seconds, eight seconds. Oh, that sounded like somebody else I used to know. <laughs> Sorry. Remind me to send that voice to the, to the outhouse. <laughs> by the way. Fans behind Jack Gunn, they are ready and pumped. Oh, by the way, the link is down there. <laughs> the link is right here. Exactly. And if you look up, there's an algorithm that YouTube will tell you suggested video. That way. That's how you get the home. Oh, you get the top turn buckle and the... Oh. And a kick straight to the posture. Oh, hello. And, and one to the backhand. That's how you get a hernia. And wrenching back on that arm. P-Dog looking to make a full-scale invasion on that arm today. Thank God Jack Gunn's going to him with us. Uh, it just kicked him. Working on that shoulder, trying to take away one of the five points. I think Posey has found a weakness and he is exploiting it. Ooh. Surprising, because Jack Gunn's had a lot of knee injuries. Yeah. And he has been favoring that knee very, very recently. This is the first event I've seen that he does not have his leg ooh, taped up. I'm surprised Posey is not exploiting that. Now, I can understand the logic, however, because if you know that you've already got one possible target to work with, if you can take out a second body part, especially on the same side of the body, that's going to limit the mobility and the overall functionality for offense, much less defense. And also, uh, strong base. It's all about that base. You look at what he's doing right now, there's so much that you can take away from, from ripping a man's arm off. And look at how he's contorting it. The, the intense pain on your shoulders, anyone knows that's ever had a collarbone injury, uh -huh. it is grinding. And it will grind and grind and grind. And that's an injury that doesn't come back from too often. No, and also remember the way that he's got that arm crossed over the bicep. That can actually create losing on the bicep itself. It's a perfect There you go. Beat up. 
sets. Oh, no. Maybe taking a little bit too long. Off the ropes comes in. Nope, drop the leg right across the nose. Second one comes in right across the chin. Third one comes in right across the eyes. Fourth, right across the chest. Hooks the leg. One, two for the win. No. Surprising to only get a two count of that. It's one of those signature posing moves. Yeah, but by the same token, he also dropped the last letter. He only did four. He's cut back. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> and that's something else that'll help you cut back a little bit. That'll make you a soprano very quickly. Yeah, what happened all about that bass? It just went to soprano. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, he's thinking about something. He's trying to set him up. He needs to be quick about this. Do yes, not he does. take your time against Mike Posey. Wait a minute. Seesaw back and forth, goes down. Now are the abdominals. Oh, right on the head. And the way his neck torqued to the side. Uh, kids. Jack Gunn's caught up. Oh, Bernie. I think Jack Gunn just got unloaded. You know, I waited until right now to say that phrase. Jack Gunn is hurt. Jack Gunn's hurt bad. Heat on closing in. Comes over. Count a one, count a two. Only no, a two. How did he kick a exactly kick out of this? Look at this. Just, just stretching the man out. Jack Gunn needs to do something. Break an eye, pull a nostril, break a toenail or something. Heck. Fight back. Do something. You are dying. Got the shoulder up before the count of three. Kawana is right there. And a pinfall in one. We call double indemnity kind of sort of maybe. And I'm pretty sure we got about 40 insurance brokers going almost but not quite. <laughs> it's a mute. A mute. Mute point. Oh! oh! Step up in Zingiri. Kawana was there. Two. Didn't get it. Only a two count surprising. Jam country. Time to spread it thin. It's Alabama Jam. Oh, oh no. Oh, he outsmarted him. Look at that. Oh, oh, no. the, <laughs> that look on the face of Posey says it all. But Gunn able to make his way back up to his feet. Looking to clear the cobwebs and mount some offense. Comes to court clothesline. Takes down Posey. Resets. Comes around. Sets the clothesline. Posey goes down again. That one more across the chest. Gun scoop. Slam right in the middle of the ring. Oh, the two scoops and raisins. Here we go. Come on, Jack. Finish the attack. Bulldog caught him in the middle. Works the leg, rolls it back. It's good. Two and two and no. And Posey's do rag actually lasted about seven minutes. Or is that a skull? Okay. It's a scully. It's a scully. It's a scully. It's a scully. Oh, nutmeg. Caught him. Posey. Nice. La over. Laid him out. Rolls him over. Puts the leg. Rolls back. Count of one. Count of two for the win. Oh, no, did not get him. How did he kick out? Oh, my goodness gracious alive. Jack Gunn kicked out. Tremendous intestinal fortitude being showed a lot tonight by Jack Gunn. Definitely needed to bring it to Posey. Forearm shot by P-Dog. Sets up gun. No reversal. Posey off the ropes. Punt. 56 yards. No return. Caught it. Across the chest. One, two, and oh no. He's still in it. Jack Gunn still in the spot. So that leads me to ask Jack Gunn, why are y'all in my Jack Gunn, of course, looking for that small town throwdown tonight in this match against Pete Dog, Mike Posey. He's got a turn. It's a Cherry Allen. Will he use it? Will he risk the disqualification? Not a Burry Allen, it's a Cherry Allen. Oh, there you go. Bernie with the save for the Cherry. However, wait a minute. Oh, Posey. 
Wait a minute, Antonio Garza! Identified object. Are you kidding me? What is Garza doing out here? Hold it. One, two, got it! Somebody's gonna get hurt this time. Ah, probably. <laughs> it's gonna be a heartache tonight. A heartache tonight, I know. Oh, Joey bringing it tonight. Wow. Beating up on everybody's favorite white boy, Dylan oh, Cook. Oh, oh, wow. What you do, go hang out with Tommy too much on the promo department? No. Oh. He doesn't work here, we can't mention him. You talk about people from all across the country. Yes. I'm gonna mention John Cena and say one. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh! Beautifully executed shoulder lock by the dream chaser, Dylan Cook. Thank God Joey Lightning wore the black hat today. Can I the brown? Not fuchsia. No, absolutely not. Although that is one of the colors of the shoes that he is wearing. Is it the shoes? Dylan has an uphill battle against Joey Lightning. Joey Lightning feels like he's been overlooked. Wait a minute! Oh, nice! Joey feels he's been overlooked and overshadowed and jumped over in line for several titles. Here's his opportunity. Cook breaking the count by leaning in. Kwanowitz breaks the count and resets. Brings Joey Lightning back up to a vertical base outside the ring. But however, oh, oh. My gosh. That's ugly. That is some Pell City vinyl plastic. Yeah, it will be. And oh, Joey Lightning's vicious tonight. Oh. Ah. 
Great finding the leg all the way around that turn post, and there is no steal in that. There is no give in that steal. Dyslexia, fun so much. Cook on the ground holding that leg. Lightning. Joey broke the count, so he is not done yet. Oh no. But nice aggression showed by both men this evening. You and Joey Lightning turned up to 11. Joey Lightning is on the prowl. I tell you something, I gotta be honest with you. You were in mid conversation with good mutual friend of the um, friend of the family, Martin Mabo Bowman from beyond ringside, uh, during Dylan's interest entrance and the way he came out of that locker room was dude that was dude, that's what i told Mabo. i said that's dylan cook let me tell you something wait a minute wow the crowd has connected they have gotten behind pell city's own son the prodigal pell city son and dylan cook i know he's from leeds but still the it's prodigal? close enough nobody outside of alabamians know where the hell that is so. <laughs> And even then, they don't give a crap. And right now, Google Maps and Yahoo Maps have just experienced a 300% upsurge in clicks. Yes, they have. Oh, and that's a 300% upsurge in a kick. Good call. Are you rapping with P-Dog? Syllabus. Syllabus. Oh, man. Joey. Joey's on fire. Rapid fire on the elbows, just like it's rapid fire on the color change of the shoes. I'm going to go burst through the wall and say, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you got line. You got. <laughs> I haven't yet to figure out the blue that is in there. That's a blue raspberry. That's okay, fine. raspberry lemonade. It's good. Great bite of the leg. Not a spinning toe hold. Joey, not using the spinning toe hold too often. Great. No. Back out. It's been since 2008. Yeah. yeah. More power to you. And depending on the strength of the leg, that is actually a very good submission move. I do believe that is won World Championships before. Not from Joey Lightning, but from somebody. There yes, you definitely, go. yeah. Oh. Bottom of the bread basket, two, three, rapid fire shots. Quick I'm so happy to be here. Oh. Oh. That out. He's over. Kawano is out of position. The thought. Oh, Barney. If Kowanowicz would have been closer, that might have been a three. And that might have been a 16. And if the air conditioner in my car worked, I wouldn't have lost five pounds on the trip here today. Somebody give me a putting wedge. Putting wedge? I don't know. It's a pitching wedge or a short yeah, wedge. No, I don't know anything. And obviously, I'm not a bowler. Into the corner. Cook, slowing it up. Now back up to a vertical base, holding that knee, showing the effects of the spinning toe. Oh, 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 now he's holding that jaw. That jaw. He was very country. One, two, no. Why, why are you counting? You play by play. I'm color commentary. Why are you counting? Both of us actually can count. I don't know. We don't know who's a good guy, who's a bad guy. It's GCW feel you. Oh, and that'll knock out an ankle and send shockwaves all the way up the leg. The single leg DDT, the worst move in professional wrestling. It hyper extends everything, rips everything, shreds everything. And of course, right now, outside is the Dr. Scholl's truck saying, hey, it would have felt not nearly as bad if you'd had our insoles. Are we being sponsored by Dr. Scholl's? Nope, GCW Media, Yahoo.com. Somebody from Dr. Scholl's, get on board. Or Audible. I like to read. Hey, we'll do live mentions. I'd like to ask everyone who comes to Hill City, make sure they secure their little children. So the little children do not run around and get knocked down. Maybe Dark Fury will flip up and kick them in the head. Speaking, Dylan of, Cook. Speaking, oh of, speaking of shameless mentions, Tuesday night, August 16th, the return of GCW Radio, the Beyond Ringside Radio Network, and ProWrestlingRadio.net. Two of 19 different ways that people can listen live. Knee. Running knee lift, beautifully done. Off the ropes, comes through, no sense. Oh, Drives him down. Two, wait a minute. Did he just? Two. See, Joey Lightning, if you were Charles Sanders, that move would keep him down, but you ain't, so you're not, and it didn't. Wow. That's going to work back to the three. Okay, that only works on the live show, not on the Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Get him. Get him. Oh, modified cross leg on the crab. We'll that post. We won't. No, we won't. Let it go. Oh, wait. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, boo. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the following by submission, Joe Lightning. 
A new submission for Joey Lightning. Screens is tremendous, and we appreciate every time you every time you tune in for GCW TV. But I tell you the truth, being here live is a beautiful thing, and I want to say thank you to everybody who comes out to the different events that we've done. Whether it's in Pell City, Alabama, whether it's in Georgia, Mississippi, Tennessee, it doesn't matter. On behalf of all of us with Global Championship Wrestling, thank you so much. Ladies challenge match in the ring, fast Eddie Lane back at ringside, along with the necessary evil the wicked nemesis was up with. Oh, this is one of those veterans against. Ooh, this is going to be an educational class. Someone is going to school. Ooh, we have a blue and a and a green right now. Well, was going to go <laughs> Nice! <laughs> At the end of the week. Veronica, your GCW Women's Champion. Ladies, women's. All of the above. For the love of God, never say the D word in my presence, though. Oh, no, because they're not. No, they're this not. is going to be your number one contendership match. This Whoever match. wins this should be the number one contender for the GCW Women's title. Well, here's the thing. Malaya originally was supposed to get a uh, championship match. However, Veronica Fairchild is still injured. And from that vantage point, when Stormy came on the scene, said basically, look, I haven't had an opportunity to get in here longer than Malaya. Malaya said, okay, fine, let you and I go get the title shot on the line. So, once again, Malaya can keep her championship opportunity by winning this match. Stormy can obtain the championship opportunity by winning this match. So that's what's on the line tonight. Also, last time we saw Brooklyn Page. Oh, yeah. She laid Brooklyn Page out. She gave it her all, just not enough. Right. Once again, one of the tremendous up-and-comers in the world of professional wrestling, Stormy Lee inside the ring, a pure veteran in every sense of the word in Malaya Hosaka. Judging by Stormy's coloring uh, scheme on her thing, I believe she is from Canada? No, nor is it Mexico, it's Italy. And thank you for not saying uh, CC's Pizza. Papa John's. I digress, sir. GCW Media at Yahoo.com. Somebody from Papa John's, get in touch, get on board. This women's match, oh, so oh. much at stake. Wow, taking her down. Risky move by Hosaka on that one. Could have undershot herself and actually come down in a more precarious position. However, she landed flat, distributing the impact. No, that Hosaka wants this. She feels that that women's title should be hers. Stormy just come out of nowhere with this match. Double sledge, kick to the lower back, driving Hosaka down. It's the first time we've seen Stormy in ring since Make Up the Muscles. Yep. Now, what about that setup? What she does? Oh! Do you have Make Up and Muscles one on one? Yes. And Fairchild has said, so be it. Of course, she's a champion. Of course, she can say that. Stormy going directly after that left leg, bending the knee around that bottom cable. I can't say rope, even though half the time I do say rope. I mean, if that thing can hold me going down, down to Kilimanjaro, guess what? That ain't a rope. <laughs> well, at least you're not like some of the announcers that like to jump on the top of the leg in half, so well, there you go. Maybe you shouldn't be in the ring if you do that. Hosaka taken surprisingly Ooh. on the defense of this season. Comes in, got a one, got a two, no. Storm and John now, with Timmy. Not always a good thing to do with the other guy. Long oh, story on that one. I don't know if you know We'll talk off air. She's kind of choked up right now. Kind of choked up. Stormy very nonchalant. 
want. Hashtag ZWO. She does not need to let up for a second. Nope. Ooh. Pancake. Cake, 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 cake. cake. Hooks the leg, rolls back. Only a two count. Only two. But noticing the way that she hooked the leg from the outside, not under from the inside. Did not give herself very much leverage to work with. Here we go. Stormy getting a little bit better advantage on that one. Grabs the left leg, pulling her back. No low balls in this match. How soft it has gotten to keep that leadership so we don't have makeup. Oh my gosh. Well, lo and behold, you have to ask the question since it's been a while since makeup and muscles have effectually been a tandem. With, with how much of a rock? Oh, hold on. They put each other's makeup on, so I think that they kind of, you know, didn't care for each other. Not that there's anything wrong with that. At least not in 2016. If Donald Trump can build a wall on the border of Mexico, the Stormy Lee can put it on Veronica Fairchild's makeup for her. There you go. That's just reasoning. That's John Oliver reasoning. Last week, this week, tonight. Last week, tonight, speaking of Hosaka. Her night is tonight. She's got to pull this out. But you can notice. Stormy is tagging her, beating on her. Notice that limp also. Let's see what happens when she goes across. Comes in. Hard close line. Drives her down. Only a two. The role of Captain Obvious today will be played by me. It's a market. So we'll be backing up the lay into the corner. Sets her, takes her across. Here we go. Nicely executed by Osaka. Sends Stormy off the rope, comes in to the chest. That'll drive the air out. And that'll sting in the morning, too. Sets. Snap suplex. Floats over. One. Timmy, get in position. Timmy! Timmy! Timmy, get in position. Grab balls. Thank you, South Pole. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, telling. <laughs> Good presence of mind by Malaya. Brings her up. Oh, he's first. It is over. Cross doing out here. We all know the sea is silent. My, 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 Malay. This American Pie? May I call you Malay? <laughs> of course I can. Oh, you don't know who I am. You've not had the privilege, like all of these little dummies in Bell City, of meeting. Is that I know I, that's Veronica. Oh, it's Veronica from behind. Whoa! Belt shot heard round the ring. 